Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to actually talk to you guys about a problem I've been having and it just occurred last night uh, in which my Jeep Wrangler JK is uh, having problems with his traction control system. Sorry guys, I'm out of the gym. I just finished in the gym so I'm a bit uh, out of air. Let's go ahead and show you guys what's happening. All right, so I'm gonna start up the Jeep. And as you guys can see, we have the ESP light on, traction control light on, and the ABS light on. Okay, I turned on the lights, guys, so you can see better. Those are the three indicator lights I'm having on my dashboard. So the thing actually is, I'm gonna go ahead and put my car in drive. And when I start driving off, everything is fine. I'm not touching the gas pedal. But once I start touching the gas pedal, the car starts restricting itself. So let me let me see if I can show you guys. I'm gonna hit the gas. And it's actually restricting itself. Okay, so that was weird. I actually lost braking system for a second. Let's go ahead and see if I can accelerate now after it reset itself. You see, once we start accelerating, we get the traction control light. So then I basically have to go down here and turn off the ESP system in order for the car to drive correctly. Let's go ahead and try it one more time from a standstill. And the car restricts itself. Now that's not normal. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but I'm also getting the brake pedal pulsation from the ABS. I don't know what this is. So yeah guys, I just got the full ABS system failure light set up. So there's definitely something wrong with the system. Okay, so what I actually think is happening with this Jeep is that the steering wheel is kind of out of center. So what that actually does is uh, trick, sort of trick the computer system into thinking you're sliding sideways. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start to, um, I'm going to actually fix the steering wheel alignment issue. Right now, all it takes is a 15 millimeter socket and uh, just a little bit of time and patience. So let's go ahead and get started on that to see if this solves the Jeep's problem. By the way guys, this is how the steering wheel looks when it's going straight. It is tilted sideways. Okay guys, so this is the part we actually want to work with right here. We have two 15 millimeter sockets, which we're gonna take off. And we're gonna start spinning the assembly until the steering wheel is right on center. All right guys, so right here I have the socket needed to remove these two nuts. These nuts! Let's go ahead and start removing them. All right, once the whole assembly is loose, just go ahead and grab it. And you're gonna start spinning until you see a change on the steering wheel. Okay, we're inside the Jeep and we actually turned it in the wrong direction, so go ahead and fix that right now. Now we're going to turn it in the opposite direction to see which is the correct direction for the steering wheel. Alright, once we have the bolts on the correct setting, I'm going to go ahead and tighten them up. All right, the steering wheel is pretty much on center. Let's go ahead and take it for a ride and see if it's still doing the same thing. All right, guys, I am pleased to announce that um, even though the lights are still on, the car is not doing the same thing. It is not, uh, traction control is not hitting or kicking in when I accelerate. Everything seems to be working perfectly fine, including the ABS system. So basically that means we fixed it 
for zero dollars. That is a great, great thing. Now the ABS lights will turn off after a while of driving, after a couple of miles. So that's uh, also a good thing. You don't have to go ahead and reset those lights. Okay guys, so I hope this video will help you with the uh, problems that you could have. So remember, if you have a bent or like a unaligned steering wheel, just do those steps. And I promise you, most of the time, the uh, traction control system and ABS system will be working properly and it will be fixed. Okay guys, so thank you for watching this video. Remember to hit subscribe and post notification for more. Take care, Garage Gang.